Hello and welcome to another tutorial showing you how to make your own cartoon from start to finish with Toon Boom Harmony Premium. In the previous videos of this series, we've rigged this character, we've animated this character, and now we're coming towards the end of the animation where I'm gonna be showing you how I do the lip syncing. We've got three lines of dialogue, so let's get started. So we've got some phonetic mouth shapes here covering all of the different sounds. And typically for each character, it's a good idea to have happy mouths, neutral mouths, and sad mouths. And also to cover the different angles, so front, quarter, and side, if you're going to be using all of those angles. In this case, I've just got happy mouths because that's the only ones I need for this particular animation. And I am also using the front mouths for the quarter view. However, typically you would want to make quarter mouths for that particular angle. So we're going to select our mouth. We're going to jump to the mouth in the timeline, pressing O. I'm just going to click this little button here, show thumbnails, and that will show the thumbnail of the mouths in here. So really you want to make sure that all the mouths are consistent throughout the timeline. So as we go here, you can see we've got all these different drawings because we've keyframed. So what you can do is you can press F5 and then type in, you know, however many frames your shot is. So you could do 5,000 just to clear them all out. And then we've just got one mouth shape all the way through. However, we're not going to do that because we have changed the mouth drawings where he approaches the tree here. So if you press control and scroll down just to zoom out, we'll just come up to the bite. So this is where the munch happens. So all the drawings before that will be this mouth. And then there's another line of dialogue by here as well. So we'll just make sure all of those mouths are that one shape as well. And then from then on, it doesn't matter because we haven't got any more voice lines after that. It's just those three. And just like keyframes, if you want to push drawings down, you can press shift and plus. And if you want to bring it back down the timeline, you can press minus. You can also zoom in, then you'll see these yellow and red bars appear and the red bar will allow you to push that down and the yellow bar will allow you to drag that down. I've never used those, but it's handy to know it's there. But if you do push that down, it won't affect any of the others after it. So let's get lip syncing. So our first line is when he comes out of the door here. And also I've got this scrubbing turned on here and the sound turned on. So when you play it with the sound, you'll be able to hear it. And when you play it with the scrubbing, you'll be able to hear it when you scrub through. And we're going to be animating the drawings on twos, just like the keyframes. So we could use the master controllers for the mouths if we wanted to. So he goes, oh. So let's have that more open O shape. And then we'll have it come down to the smaller one. And then that gets hold held for quite a while. Oh. And then the B shape starts about there. Or you can use the drawing substitutions for the mouths if you wanted to. I'm actually going to start that a little bit later. And then we'll put the E shape here because it goes boy. So our E shape is here. Then it goes back to the W because it's the beginning of what. So with lip syncing, you don't necessarily want to have the phonetics for every single sound that you hear because it tends to go a little bit fast. So like you don't want him speaking like that. You want to try and skip as many of those mouth shapes as you can within reason. So we're going to go to the T. We're going to come back to our master controller. You can see that that neck is appearing there, which I think I have fixed in the latest 
version, but not in this scene. For some reason, it's getting cut by the neck. There we go. But I want to be you. Oh boy, what a beautiful. Might get held. For the L is there. Do the D sound there. Thought I had a yeah, there we go, a slightly smaller one there. Don't know if I've included that in the master controller. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. And then we'll take it back to our closed shape there. So this is what we've got so far. Oh boy, what a beautiful day! I'm just going to clear out the keyframes for that mouth by going on the master peg for the mouth and pressing F7. So I might bring that mouth forward a little bit. And then I'll copy that frame and paste it there just so it's back where it started. So when he's going O, it's, you know, it looks like it's coming forward because when you make that O sound on the quarter, your lips become puckered, which means they'll move forward a little bit. But that's something you can cover, you know, when you make your quarter mouth shapes, you can bring that O shape a little bit more further across the face but in this case we're just using the front mouth so i've just done a little bit of movement on the master peg of the mouth for that sound and i think i'll keyframe that and i'll just make it a little bit thinner and bring it down a little bit just so there's a little bit of squash there. I'm going to bring it back to where it was. Now what you can do when you copy and paste keyframes, you can select this, which will paste the keyframe only without the drawing. So we're going to switch to that so we can copy that position and paste it here. Just so the mouth is back where it was. And I might actually squash this down a little bit. Just so there's a little bit of a transition between that wide shape. And then we're going to keyframe that. And then we'll move that forward a little bit as well. Beautiful! And we can paste that position for that mouth shape there. Oh boy, what a beautiful day. Okay, so that's the first line of dialogue lip synced. So let's move to the next one. So we start with an L shape, which is that one. And then it goes into an O. S. jump to the E for that K sound. Looks like And then we got a TH sound there. Looks like the And we got an A. Looks like the apples. The apple. And then the S. The apples are Then this is the R sound. You don't have to do the R sound, you can probably cover it with the O shape. And then we go into the A shape. Just realised I've got to fix that there. So move that down. And then this A shape lasts for quite a while. And then we go down for the P. F. Actually, we'll do a TH sound there. Now we'll 
will go in for that ST shape there. For the picking! Looks like the apples are right for the picking! And then the final line. So he does his bite. Yum. Yum. And we do yummo. I might have that held a little longer. So, um, typically with the mouth shapes, you actually shift all of the mouth shapes down the timeline so that we see the mouth changes before we hear the sound, because that tends to make a lot more sense to our brains. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click here and then we're just going to go minus minus. Don't want to do that for the for the bite because he's not speaking. He's just taking the bite. So we're going to push those back up <laughs> and then we'll pull these down for the yummo. Yeah, I just realized we should have done it on the master peg for the mouth because the keyframe information didn't move with our mouth shapes because we just pulled the mouth shapes down and not the peg. So let's fix that now by expanding the master mouth peg and we will pull this down. We'll go to our mouth bite, push those up. Then we'll put those down. Yummo! I might actually change that mouth shape and I might make this one a bit thinner as well. Yeah, I just wanted to prolong that F shape a little bit more. And finally, we're going to do some eye action. So we're going to do some blinks. We're going to use our master controller. We're going to use this blink slider. And I think I'll do a blink where he's here. Just before that walk. I think I'll do another one here. Just before that look up. I'll do one where he's coming down before he says, oh. We'll put one in the middle of that walk. So what I'm basically doing is putting those, is having the eyes close on the anticipation before he comes up, just to give it a little bit more impact. So I'm going to have them down at this point. Then I'll have them open. And then we can have it closed there as well. closed on that follow through I think and then we'll have one more blink on his walk out so let's see how that looks What a beautiful day! Looks like the apples are ripe for the picking!
Yummo! In the next video, we are going to be taking this animated scene that we've made, and we're going to be exporting it and bringing it into an editing software. In this case, it's going to be DaVinci Resolve, which is absolutely free. And then we'll be adding in some sound effects as well. And that will be the last video in this tutorial series. We've come a long way. Thanks for joining me so far. I will see you in the next video. Cheerio now. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy that video, please consider liking and subscribing. If you'd like to be notified of any future videos like this in the future, you can click that notification bell. And if you want to support the channel further, you can click the join button below and that will get your name in the final credits of each video as well. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. I stream over on Twitch as well, where you can see me doing this stuff live. Thanks again. See you in the next video.